Hello there and welcome. I'm with Tommy and I'm just showing Tommy this moment in a stream. Uh, what was your reaction when you first saw the, the combat engineer trying to flame the Goliath in this stream, in this cast, Tommy? This is honestly not a bad acting on my end. I genuinely didn't know how he did, how he did that. Yeah, he said, how is this possible? How is this possible? And to be honest, a lot of people on Von Ivan's stream um, didn't think it was possible. We've got Soren Kepler here um, mildly accusing me of favoritism and kind of accusing uh, Isildur of cheating. And my answer to you guys is it is absolutely possible. And I personally can do it. And I'm not even very good at the game. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you that. And so me and Tommy are going to put our money... Well, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to play versus Tommy right now. And we're going to simulate the scenario, aren't we, Tommy? Tommy. Yeah, sorry? I said we're going to simulate the scenario. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't think you expected an answer from me. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get you in on the banter, but yes, okay, we are indeed. I, I don't necessarily expect an answer, but I do expect a Goliath somewhere on the map. Not the same location that uh, Von Ivan put his, um, yeah. but I'll let you see to that we'll have fog of war on and um I, I, all i'd say is keep your infantry and stuff back because at the moment that um isolda spotted the goliath with his well heard the goliath i'm gonna suggest um the rest of von ivan's army was in base so all you really need is a goliath to be honest um, yeah, yeah. Because all the noise of the vehicles and stuff was kind of getting repaired at the mechanized headquarters at the time um See, I'm going to stay in base. I won't even be listening to where it moves because that would be super, super duper cheating. So I'll try and spot a stationary Goliath somewhere along the halfway mark, hidden somewhere, knowing it's probably on the field. So, Okay. okay. Let me uh, get my flake. We use Soviet flamer engineers. Oh, I can see. Damn. No, no, it's, it's my, it's ah, my bad. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Did you automatically turn Fog of War on off? Yeah, it's my uh, TR cheating map hack, you know. Ah, I see, yeah, yeah. I uh, totally recall that joke. <laughs> right. Um. How do I do this? Oh, oh I know a good one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're making it sound too easy now, so I'm going to check the bridge. Just just put it... Be, be realistic, be realistic. I'm, I'm sure I'll find it. I'm sure I've, I have... Confidence, I have confidence. Okay. It's uh it appeared. You have it? Yeah. We're going. Flamethrower is ready. We're off. I think I have it. You do? I think so. So I have to... Ah! But I was going to shoot around there. I was going to shoot around there. That's where I was. I was going to shoot the guard okay. tower, though, to be fair. So that was just me. But I think we have to make it more stressful. So let's make it a little bit more like a lifelike scenario. Because mm -hmm. I definitely uh, spent... I don't know how long it took me to find it. But I, I, took, I found it reasonably quickly. So let's put some uh, units on the field, shall we? Um, let's make it a little bit more like a real battle. What the hell is that noise? That's a bigger noise this time. <laughs> I'm scared because now. I, I, because I moved it. I moved it. Oh, it's so loud when you move it. Yeah, it right. is. I, I, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just be... I'll retreat back to base and I won't listen for it. And maybe put some folks grenadiers in some positions to add some rifle fire. And, okay, okay. Um, and um, so if I try and find it, it's a little bit more realistic. And this time I'll try and play a little bit more realistically, I guess. I'll introduce some conscripts to the fold. Right, tell me when you're ready, sir. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, I got... I think I got a good one, just let me get in position. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, then. I think this hopefully dispels any cheating. Dude, is it really that loud? Have you got any other vehicles? It is. It, it is it's very loud. It's so if loud. Like, how can anybody... It, this if, you if you focus on it, like... If you look for it, and if no, you I'm, I'm look not for the looking sound, for it. I just have a very good headset. Like my ex-girlfriend yeah. left me this headset, and it's 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 a audio, <laughs> it's audio studio like a, what's it called? A studio quality headset. Oh, I think I know how you can spot it. Okay. Hello. 
Ah. Yeah, it is hard when there's rifle fire. I'll give I'll give you that. So I've, I do find it difficult with rifle fire. I would have to creep along the ground in order to find it. No, what's the trick? You look for the smoke behind the no, vehicle? No, you just listen for it. Oh, so I, I can okay. explain. So if we just retreat all of the squads. Basically, um, this is from years of playing um, Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. Uh, you listen, do you know listen to footsteps with your left and right channels on your your headset? You can locate any sound in a even a like a 2D plane or a 3D environment with only two uh, left and right channels of input. You don't need surround sound headsets, quite frankly, they're a bit of a myth. You just need left and right, and you need to rotate the screen and move the screen around. And it's very, very possible to hone in on the location of a sound. Just if you move the screen, your brain should be able to locate the uh, genesis of the sound, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I did, I did found it really difficult with the the rifle fire. I do note that Asilda didn't have that difficult, didn't have any rifles firing when he found it and started shooting it. So put another one on the map. Mm, okay. Just any way you want. I'll stay in base and because I won't start the trick until it's ready. So I'm one out of two mm. at the moment. Is it moving or is it stationary? Yeah. You should hear it now, I think. Stationary, yeah? No, no, no. Not yet. Because moving ones you can spot a mile away. I, yeah, yeah. You can hear them, anybody can hear them, and you can if tell where they're going. Hard. It's if there's a stationary one you have to struggle. Ah. I can hear it so easily. It's uh, stationary now. Tell you the exact location of it. It's by the grain silo. In between the house and the grain silo somewhere. Almost, yeah. By the bush? Yeah, by the bush, yeah. Yeah, it's there. So, it is that easy, guys. Yeah, with rifle fire, it is difficult. So, my trick, and the way Tommy could absolutely destroy me with Goliaths, is to use a Kubelwagen or anything that makes a, ve a vehicle engine noise at the same time. So, Tommy, if you, were to, if you were to change the position of the Goliaths and drive two Kubelwagens around the map, I'll show the audience just how important Goliath usage and having vehicles on the map is. So uh, I suppose like if you use some audio mix thingy, you could show how distinct the, the Goliath noise is. But mm. I don't know how to do that. Well, anybody watching along on YouTube, they're going to have the same left and right channel I originally had, so they can play along with their own headset, to be like, honest. It's, but, um, uh, the Goliath is set. Okay, is the Goliath set, so drive the Kubels. And yeah. I'll show how difficult it is to spot the Goliath this time. So I'll try my best. Uh, so I, I, I can already nearly... F it's near the central victory point. I already know that. Um, but anyway, drive the Kubels and I won't be able to find the exact location of it. Tell me when the Kubels are driving, please. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm moving. To be honest, I've already found it. Because the Kubel noise is a higher ratchet. It's near a wheelbarrow and the brown bushes and some hay. Um, I think. Or well, behind that brown. Uh, it's so yeah, much harder it to that find area. it. Yeah, it yeah, that, yeah, that area. area. Because the, the ticking noise of the Goliath. So basically, even with Kubels, it's hard to find, but it's still easy to find. I mean, sorry. Um, gunfire and explosions is when it's hard to find. But if you guys go back to the YouTube video in question. So let's do that now. I do believe I gave um, Tommy you did. a timestamp, so let's go back to it. You can see easily in this video that all of Von Ivan's activity was off screen in the bottom left there. So he's completely back in base with his vehicles, and the only thing that's pushed out is actually really far away from what's happening. So I think that pretty much dispels any myth that Isilda was cheating and explains how you can hear a Goliath and also how you can play with the Goliath to try and fool the people that are trying to locate the Goliaths. There's a little bit of uh, espionage and counter-espionage out there on the Company Heroes 2 uh, Auto Match Battlefield. Um, Tommy, thank you very much for participating in this uh, YouTube uh, mini-tutorial thing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Any parting words, sir? Um, well, now I have one more way to locate a Goliath, I suppose. <laughs> no, I didn't know it was possible. I didn't know it was possible to be honest. <laughs> how much how much competitive FPS have you played? First person shooters? Uh only one. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's well, that's where I first... They called it sound whoring in Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare oh. 2. So, if you basically, you had an entire class of Xbox 360 players. I know you're considerably younger than me, <laughs> but people <laughs> bought very good two-channel headsets called Turtle Beaches back in 2008. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, the, the actual purpose for them was to hear the sound. So, what I would do is I'd have the gain on my Turtle Beaches put up, up to 10, and I'd be, my ears would be bleeding. <laughs> and I could, I could literally hear anything. It was really cheating. Could, and I used could, to like get insane kill death ratios and stuff. Yeah. Could you even hear like uh, with the. There was a perk that ninja. Made you... Even with yeah, ni ninja. I, that's. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to brag, but I could hear ninja pro footsteps in crouch. That's how Ouch. high I had the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I took it very seriously, but from from that kind of uh, knowledge, yeah, you, you 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 can spot stuff like Goliaths, and all you have to do is move the camera, and your brain will process the left and right channels, and you'll be able to find the Goliath. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, hope that hopefully that was useful, and thanks Thomas for helping. Cheers. No, you're welcome.